Alright guys, welcome to possibly the final episode of Pokemon Conquest Blind! I've said it the last couple episodes now, but this time, we're not gonna get destroyed by this enemy, hopefully. This final battle, if you saw last time, we completely got destroyed because I was um, unprepared. I didn't know what I was up against. It, it, it only showed me Arceus at first, so... I'm gonna show this the cutscene one more time. I'm not gonna read it, but yeah. All the warrior warlords came back, at least most of them. There were some, like, uh, Masamune, the flying guy, and uh, that darkness guy. There was a lot they could have brought back, but I can understand why they brought somebody. The, the no girl, I'm not sure why she's part of this. She didn't seem like that dedicated to Nobunaga. Maybe she was just because she was part of the, the final three nations, and those are like his most dedicated. I don't know. I can definitely understand everyone else, though. Um, all right, I don't like that Scrafty's on the right. I wanted both my fighting types to go this way. Um, so, alright, Scrafty, you start, uh, heading this direction. I don't want to move too far up. Because that was my problem last time. I moved too far. Embor, just move one. Arceus, and we sh maybe should spread out a little. And Gallant, I want you to take care of Infernape. That's what I want you to do. That, that is your mission, buddy. And Staraptor could help with that, too, couldn't she? Alright. Alright, we got this. Bring it! So yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what to talk about. This was already super intense last episode, but we lost. Um, is Magus is going, Infernape's going next, or, I mean, Agron's going next, and now Infernape. That's not the same formation they made last time. Interesting. Okay, um, I don't want to move too far, because I don't want to be in range of their attack. Um, he can attack two spaces away, so one, two, everyone walk forward, one. Just walk forward one space. I want them to come to us this time. And Infernape Kimu have a, has a huge attack range. Let's see, he can attack that square, this whole square right here. So you know what? Oh, oh yeah, Scrafton needs to go this way, doesn't he? I should have started- oh, I, cra I should have started moving Arceus this way. Whatever, this works. Bring it! Keep walking! Keep going! Come towards us! Are they not gonna come towards us? All right, they're being they're being smart about this like me. They're not moving. They're not moving their full distance, or are they? No, they are. They're moving. They're they're going all out. <laughs> all right. Um. Wow. Miss Magus and Infernape are in good range. Ah, crap! 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 Mega super crap. Arceus. Um. I could walk full. Okay, hold on. We got it. We got to hit. Lucario. Um, Embor, you start things off. Only 70% chance. That's not good. Miss. That sucked. That sucked. What? Well, Lucario would be dead now if that didn't. No! You pile of crap! What the heck am I supposed to do? They just keep freaking missing. So it freaking abilities activating. Attack Rayquaza, I guess, Arceus. Yeah, I can't wait to be done with this game. <laughs> no, sorry. I cannot wait to be done with this game. Alright, um, you start by doing this just to Infernape. Uh, actually, no. No. Staraptor. You'll one-shot Infernape. Do it. Goodbye. Good riddance, Infernape. Good riddance. Galite, now you can go for Rayquaza! Only 33. I don't care. Kill it. We gotta kill it. Take that! Alright. What are they gonna do now? Probably they're gonna go for, uh... Staraptor. And that one... Lucario's only going for Girder. Okay, that's good. That's fine. As long as he doesn't go for Arceus, we're fine. We gotta kill that stupid freaking Lucario! It avoided two attacks from me! That is crap! That is crap and you all know it! it avoided two attacks from me! Now is the time for what? Accuracy going up. For an Ice Beam, great. Well, they're, they're both be frozen. Oh no, they're not frozen! Okay, they're not frozen, that's good. That is good. Lucario is hiding back there, I don't like that. I was gonna hit two. Crap! Crap, 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 crap! Alright, uh, Scrafty, you gotta kill Agron! 
That's your mission right now. You gotta kill Agron, and... Darn it, Strafter's too far to hit anyone. Um... Scrafter, you gotta kill Agron. High jump kick. You won't kill him, but that's fine. You'll do a nice chunk of damage. Assuming you hit! Yes, you did hit! Thank God. Alright, um, Girder, attack Lapras. Or wait, can you- Oh, you can hit- you can, No, he go for Lucario again. We gotta kill that stupid freaking Lucario. Perry. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? We're not gonna win. Blast him. Miss all of them. It didn't kill any of them. It could have killed Agron if we had the luck more in our favor. Actually, Arceus, if you do judgment right here, you'll kill Arceus and- I mean, Agron and Rayquaza. You'll hit Scrafty a little. Oh, but is that- is that worth it? Oh boy. That's a tough decision to make. Um... Don't do that. Don't do that. Galli can take her Rayquaza right here. Nice job, Galli! Nice job! You rock! Alright, um... Now... Arceus cannot do anything really all that great this turn, to be honest. Miss Mages is not a threat at all. You know what? I just want Arceus to stay out of range of Lucario right now. What's Lucario's movement right now? Okay, he won't be able to hit me if I'm hiding back here. Arceus, yeah, you need to fall back. Oh, that Lucario is the biggest threat right now. Alright, Mr. So Raptor, you might as well start attacking this Miss Mages. It is not a threat whatsoever, but you never know. I'd like you to get over here to help us a little, but... Ah, crap! This bitch is actually attacking! Great! Ow! Ow! Ah, I don't like this! I do not like this at all. And there goes Scrafty, I bet. Miss! Ha! In your face! In your face! Okay, never mind. You're dead. Never mind. Critical hit from Lucario. What the hell am I expecting? That Lucario can't die for some reason. It just won't die. Alright, I'm kind of sick of playing games here. Time for desperate measures. Warrior ability, sweet song. Now attack Miss Magus again. <sighs> Alright, uh, Gallade, you can't hit anyone but Miss Magus, darn it, so you might as well, I guess. Go one forward just so you can be close for the action. Take care of Miss Magus. Thank you! Thank you very much for that. Hey, uh, M Mr. Embor, what is your uh, warrior ability? I don't even know. Significantly re increases attack. Do it! Fire blast all of them! Boom! Ha! Die, Agron! And die, Lucario! Yes! That's exactly what I wanted! Nice! What's your warrior ability? I'd like to learn. The same thing, Mighty Blow. Let's take a gamble. Take this, Lapras. I think we got this, guys! I think we got this! Ha! And Arceus, bring us home! Bring us home! Boom! Take that! In your face, Nobunaga! In your face! Ha ha ha! First time I actually used warrior abilities and it worked. <laughs> Who knew, right? That battle took so short. Well, I hope there's a long cutscene to make up for this lo really short episode so far. Dear brother, why? Why did you want to do this? Do you not understand? Clearly we don't, Nobunaga. Throughout the land, warriors fought endless battles, driven by the quest for the legendary Pokemon. Well, yeah, that's what you were doing. What we were all doing. Because of the stupid legend. These conflicts continued for years, and they were still continuing up to this day. No one fought! Hey, let's not fight! That's what I said at the very beginning of this! More and more warriors began to treat the Pokemon as their partners as little more than tools. Monoer has lost the ability to feel love for their Pokemon. It was for this reason that Nomonaga sought to- Oh, you're- you're speaking in third person again? I thought- I meant that it's a joke last time, but you, you really are speaking in third person. It was this reason I, Nomonaga, sought to unite Ransay. It he- and he- Okay, who's talking? Is it really Nomonaga or is it a narrator? If he could prove to all that he was the most powerful warrior in all of Ransay, proves all the fighting would stop. So again, like I said, what what was the point of even our do us doing this? 
Legend Boy was just that. A legend. A story made up to frighten children. Who went to the ends of the earth to search for it. And even if they managed to get their hands on it, its fears and power would cause them to lose their minds. That is what I will destroy this Arceus. Okay, I, I see how this works. So now that I got one, to... Okay. Oh my god. So many plot holes! My god! So he wanted to conquer the region so everyone would stop trying to conquer the region. <laughs> That's basically what he said. He wanted to conquer the region so everyone would stop conquering the region! <laughs> oh my god. A legend has stolen the very heart of my beloved Ransay. Dear brother. And yet, AB11, you did it. Before us, you've retained your clarity. Perhaps you are the one. Oh, so when I conquered it... <laughs> Brave warriors. I have now seen how much you both care for Ransay. Therefore, I entrust it to, you care, to your care. AB11. You are still young. Yeah, yeah. This is why you will not see me. Uh, you until you... Screw you, Arceus! Screw you! Screw you, Arceus! I'm totally worthy of you! Screw you! Get the hell out of here! Screw you! I, I like my Umbreon better anyway. After that, oh, there's all the people. Aelin re returned all the captured castles... WHY WOULD I DO THAT?! NOW I GOTTA CONQUER THEM ALL AGAIN! Well, that's the post-game! Oh my, that's the post-game! Set of rules, this- A set of rules. Oh, a set of- like a Nuzlocke. Like a- like rules like a Nuzlocke? Is that what we're doing here? You fought so hard to capture these castles, feel like- a Bit of a waste is giving them back. YEAH! THAT'S WHAT I JUST SAID! Shingen, you know what? But yeah, I, I really like Shingen. He was one of my favorite characters. That's the way he does things. He just does whatever the hell he wants. Doesn't give a crap about anything. Hope the one way to share a battle with again. Yeah, me too, Kenshin. Why am I doing this? I won my region back, and I took all this time conquering. You beat me fair and square. Yes, I did, Yoshi. To be honest, though, I knew the first time that you were going to do big things. Now you got to do now. Okay, I, I just just want to say this. The pose that they're in. Infernape is grabbing Hideyoshi just... Very strangely, I find it very weird. Just had to throw that out there. I picked Ignis and started from scratch. Oh, screw you. Yeah, screw the post game. That is literally just an excuse to make you conquer all the nations again. You real taught me battle. Or, or, you weren't even that main of a character. I don't know why you get a word in this. <laughs> Turn to Valora and Valora principles and stuff. Lord AB11, peace return to Ransay. Just learned out what I got desired. My god, see, there was no point in me doing this. If Nobunaga had had his way, he would have conquered all the nations, and instead of me linking with Arceus, it would have just killed Arceus. But the same exact result. And Arceus left me anyway, like, screw you, you're not worthy of me yet, and just left. So there was literally no point of me even doing this adventure. And here's stupid Mitsunari, who has no purpose of being in this game. Same with you. And you're crying too, yeah. Of course not, come on, why are you so happy? What the hell did we even do? So, to, so to, pro tip for the real world. If you want the world to love you, conquer them, then give them their land back. That's how they love you. Lesson learned. America, you should bomb everyone and conquer all the world's nations and then give them back. That's how Ameri That's how the world will like America again. It was filled with laughter, Pokemon people alike. What the heck is this game? Infinite Tower stood Nobunaga. Smile, just... Oh my god. And that's the... That was Pokemon Conquest! What a giant mess of a game. Holy crap. To those that like this game, I like this game too. I had fun with it. I definitely enjoyed it. Hell no to the post game. And I don't see, foresee myself playing this game again. This was a one-time game for me. I had a lot of fun with it. It was really interesting seeing all the different nations, what they were going to do with all of them. Seeing all the really quirky characters who, you know, just had a lot of... They really weren't, didn't have much personality, in my personal opinion. Uh, here's all the war... We didn't. We never saw Multinari again, the Greenleaf guy who showed me so much trouble. Same with the Fontaine leader. I didn't even remember his name. Yeah, we never saw them again. Um, and there's all the wars. Yeah, okay. So yeah, in this, my, this game was not that well put together. Um, I did not like a lot of the tactical things, like... And this might seem just me nitpicking, but I did not like... I, I've said this many times, I did not like that you didn't necessarily do the amount of damage that it said you'd do. It's impossible to calculate odds and actually have real strategy. 
Uh, too much luck. That's too much luck. I mean, so one could argue that Fire Emblem, the series that I love so much, has a lot of luck thrown in, and I'm not going to argue with that. But most of the luck in that game relates to critical hits and missing. Missing your attack entirely. And that's definitely fa present in this game. Don't get me wrong. So I, I never complained about that. Um, I mean, of course, I got upset when I missed, but that's... I'm not going to say that's a fault. You got to have something like that, in my opinion, for these kind of games. Um, well, you don't have to necessarily, but I forgive it for being in there. But the not necessarily doing the amount of damage that it says you do, that's stupid. Stupid feature to carry over from the main Pokemon game. There were a lot of things carried over from the main series Pokemon game that I didn't think worked very well. Like the attack Leaf Storm, um, that lowers your attack power with every use. That's not suitable for a thing like this, where you gotta use the same Pokemon's attack over and over and over and over. Um... I did like what they did with a lot of the attacks and how they figured out different attack ranges and different abilities and different things like that. I feel like a lot of that did a really good job. Storyline! Oh my god, what a joke. I did not like the storyline of this whatsoever. Like I just said, there was literally no point of my character even doing any of that because Nobunaga would have conquered all the nations himself and then would have just killed Arceus. Or would have tried. Chances are he would have failed, to be quite honest with you. But he still would have conquered all the nations and gotten his way and then... Oh, what's this? You cleared the story. Oh, now he's now she's speaking to me, like, literally breaking the fourth wall. Many were just like, I mean, the story of all the different warriors you've met so far are just the beginning. Oh, but don't worry. Do their link values be... Yeah, screw post-game. I spent all that time training my characters. I don't even get to keep, keep my link values. Screw you. Oh, they're just the day you built up will be carried over. This is how the area looks at the moment. Oh, I got only 56 out of 200, and I found 119. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Screw you, Oichi. Screw you. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Ha! You're assuming I'm going to come back! Oh, that's a bad assumption. That's a very bad assumption. Save the current play data. I'm, I'm tempted to say no so I can keep all the stuff I had. Is that stupid of me? Save the data. You never know. Maybe someday down the line I'll continue this game, but I don't foresee it. Why the hell? I spent tons of hours in this game just training my Pokemon for the various main story, and now it all got reset? A new story has been unlocked. So, okay, so I now do each person's individual story. Hideyoshi Yukimura. Okay, I can see, yeah. Filler. It's all filler. All See, so I put 21 hours into this game. That's... Um, that includes all, you know, all the stuff I was doing. That was not worth 21 hours. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this play. Despite my negative opinions in the game, I still had tons of fun with it. And overall, overall, I say the game was decent. It was decent. It was good. It was worth playing. I'm not going to die. It was worth playing at least once. It was worth playing the story at least once, and I'm glad I did. But I'm not playing it again. And was I don't need to see the opening again. Thanks. Um... See my, so I don't even get to keep like any of that stuff. Pokemon, yeah, whatever. I'm happy with everything that happened. I'm happy with uh, how I beat, how I finished it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll, sh I think I'll have a link in the description for a, like a straw poll, figure out what I want to do next. I know I'm in the middle of Fire Emblem Sacred Stones at the moment, so I'm probably not going to start another playthrough for a little while yet. I'll give myself a little bit of a break. Between doing two at a time, because I'm also doing Soul Silver on the main channel, so I'm doing a lot. But I will have a link, at least two or three choices for games that I've also wanted to play if I had opened up a second channel. Uh, and do non Pokemon games. Vote, you guys can vote on my next one. I'll probably do all of them at some point, but which one I'll do next is going to be up to you. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you look forward to what is next for Blue Gator Gaming and my main oh. stuff. And Thunder is ready for this play to be over. Thank you, Thunder. I appreciate your contribution. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Rock on.